Channel 3 Breaking News. Karen Echo here, and I have more breaking news. Stay tuned. Pterodactyl hair, and if you bleed green and yellow, you may or may not like this information I'm about to share with you. And it has to do with battery powered equipment again. And this was sent to me today, but it was posted on the 14th of August, 2023. So let me read this correspondence. Raleigh. North Carolina. John Deere is bringing 50 new jobs to the triad. Now, if you don't know what the triad is, that's an area of North Carolina. Picking a Kernersville site for a nearly $70 million battery and charger manufacturing plant. A big focus will be the off-highway equipment market. So that's the market they're going after. Off-highway equipment. So if you know what that is, that's off-highway equipment. Mm. Equipment that works off the highway. According to the company, Governor Roy Cooper announced the project on Monday, which was the 14th. The facility will be part of John Deere electric powertrain. So if you know anything about a powertrain, a train is fast. And it moves fast. So they're moving this battery stuff fast. Like a powertrain. And includes gear from Kreisel Electric, which John Deere acquired in 2022. That was last year. That's a battery company. John Deere acquired them. They're into this battery thing. Jobs will include assemblers, material handlers, packagers, and quality inspectors. The combined payroll is estimated at more than $3.3 million. That's probably a year, according to the governor's office. North Carolina's leadership in manufacturing, innovation, and clean transportation is creating great jobs from global manufacturers like this. With our shared values on sustainability, we look forward to creating a cleaner future together. Cooper said in a statement, the company will receive $100,000, one North Carolina grant, which requires that investment and job creation totals be met. A match from local governments also is required. Ba 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 ba. The announcement is the latest in a series made over the past two years as companies such as VinFast, I don't know who that is, sounds like SlimFast. Is that a weight loss company? VinFast? Toyota and Wolf Speed. Another one that's fast, like a wolf. A wolf is fast. Wolf Speed. Have chosen the state for plants that will service the electric vehicle industry. So those are all companies in North Carolina that's into this electric stuff. Again, not going away. Looks like it's moving forward, like in a powertrain, moving fast. Manufacturing at the plant will include Kreisel battery packs, which John Deere acquired last year, charger technology, and other systems. So here in the state of Indiana, where we're at, our governor, he's embracing all this clean technology too. Uh, about 45 minutes south of here, down I-65, there's a huge wind farm with all those wind things. And they're building a new rest area here and they got one of those blades for that wind farm on display. So when you stop to take a pee and get a bag of chips or whatever, sody pop, you can look at that big one of those big blades off of one of those big wind turbines that are spinning around. And that thing is massive. And it's all open inside. You can crawl inside there and your kids will get stuck in there and they will be suing the state. But they have that on display. We also, just east of us, they're putting in all these solar farms. There's taking a bunch of farmland and there's just 
acres and acres of these solar farms that are popping up just east of us here in Poda. And the governor here in this state also touting all this clean en energy companies like North Carolina that have come in that are building factories and stuff for all this new clean energy. So again, doesn't seem like it's going away. I will read on, let me digress. As the demand for electric solutions continues to increase, so obviously there's a need for it because they're saying it's, it's increasing, or is this a bunch of BS? This strategic investment in growing our production capacity will help strengthen our position as an international battery technology leader, international. So oh, this is worldwide, this is a global thing. Again, not just this country doing it, it's going on all over the world. Within the evolving off-highway equipment market. So it sounds to me like there's a need for this off-highway equipment to be clean energy and battery powered. We are prioritizing the development of a robust charging ecosystem and battery portfolio that can support and sustain the long-term adoption of electrification across a wide variety of applications. So they're talking everything from little weed eaters and chainsaws all the way up to who knows, big earth moving equipment. Said Pierre Gaillot, Gaillot, Senior Vice President of John Deere Power Systems and Chairman of Creasel Electric. I might have butchered his name, but that's the guy in the announcement. Deere, John Deere, already operates a big plant elsewhere in the Triad, which is an area of North Carolina called the Triad. Almost sounds like that Chinese street gang, the Triads. Employing some 800 people, according to the Triad Business Journal. So, there you have it. More breaking news. And there's your battery dinner. Let us know what you think in the comments section about all this green energy, these wind farms and these solar farms and all this other green energy. Let us know down there in the comment section because I don't know about you, but I believe gas and oil, which you can get this hat in our online store and also our dinosaur juice tea. You need to be wearing this. Check out our online store. See what you can find out on this. And let me know in the comment section. I'm curious to see. I'm curious, like a cat. Meow, meow, meow. That's me pawing at the comments. Meow.